President Obama is paying tribute to former South African President Nelson Mandela as he remains hospitalized in critical condition. White House correspondent Kristen Welker is in Cape Town, South Africa. Kristen, good morning. Lester, good morning to you. Tributes to Nelson Mandela have underscored this entire trip, and they continue today. The first family touring Robben Island this morning. Now, Robben Island is where Nelson Mandela was held for 18 of the 27 years that he was imprisoned here in South Africa. This will be President Obama's second trip to Robben Island. He first went back in 2006. Now, on Saturday, President Obama spent much of the day reaching out to the Mandela family. He and First Lady Michelle Obama called Grasa Michelle, that is Nelson Mandela's wife, uh, while she was at the hospital. The president later on in the day visited with members of Nelson Mandela's family at the Mandela Center. And at that point, President Obama took a few moments to sign a copy of a book written by the former South African president called Conversations with Myself. Now, later on today, the president will deliver the keynote speech of this entire trip at the University of Cape Town. That is where Bobby Kennedy delivered his famous anti-apartheid speech back in 1966. The president will talk about how far South Africa has come since then, and he'll also talk about some of the challenges that lie ahead. And to that point, the president will announce a new partnership between the United States and six African nations to double access to electricity within the next decade. Lester. Kristen Welker in Cape Town this morning. Thanks.